Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The St. Lucia contingent has arrived in Trinidad and Tobago for Carifesta 14. With a team of 80 individuals, the contingent is hoping to make a statement with its presentation. This year's presentation will include performances of La Woz and Masquerade, as well as a little folk tale. The Carifesta activities commenced on Friday, August 16th and will culminate on Sunday, August 25th. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney says while the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has been unable to benefit from U.S. assistance and training, the government of St. Lucia has not been idle in meeting the needs of the police force. The Prime Minister says government has been taking the necessary steps to ensure that national security and justice in St. Lucia stays on course. The Prime Minister went on to explain that an even bigger issue at play is the effect the investigations report on 2010-2011 Operation Restore Confidence, commonly referred to as the Impacts Report, is having on the morale of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. He explained that it is unfair that members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force are being negatively labelled and have not had their day in court. Honorable Chastney explained that the government has been focused on executing the recommendations made in the impacts report with the aim of ensuring that there is no repeat of the predicament. The Prime Minister revealed that regular discussions are being held with US, Canadian and EU officials on that matter. Honorable Chastney indicated that these officials have expressed confidence that the government of St. Lucia is headed in the right direction in resolving the matter and are in full support. The OECS Commission and the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility are continuing efforts to reduce flooding and strengthen resilience in the community of Maguitut, Miku. This latest effort facilitated the planting of trees along the Maguitut River by student volunteers from the Vidbutai Primary School's Scouts and the Duke of Edinburgh Caribbean Awards Sub-Regional Council. Participants of the Duke of Edinburgh program noted the importance of extracurricular groups in fostering leadership skills and helping young people give back to their communities. The main goal of the Maguitut Riverbank Stabilization and Reforestation Initiative is to replant at least half of the deforested areas along the Maguitut watershed and implement measures to stabilize the riverbanks. The project is estimated at $34,100 US dollars. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.